Hey, what's going on gamers? My name is Andy. Earlier this morning, Blessing and I were able to check out the behind closed doors demo of the Matrix Awakens an Unreal Engine 5 experience. Blessing already got to play it before we checked out the demo and I didn't quite have access yet, but now I do. We already saw the demo. We saw exactly what happens in it, but we were shown it over a Zoom call by the folks over at Epic and Unreal. And now I actually get to see what the demo looks like in front of my eyes instead of a 720p pretty compressed zoom call. So I'm really excited to check this out. I'm playing this on my Xbox Series X. So let's check it out finally. It was really impressive again over a zoom call. I'm really stoked to see how it looks on my monitor in 1440p. I'm Thomas Anderson. Like many of you, I work with computers. Oh, damn. I like the freedom I feel outside the limitations of the real world. But computers are also mirrors, reflecting back who and what we are and the choices we make, the worlds we build. They also confront us with questions about why we want to choose this over that, why we want to make X instead of Y. Where do ideas of who we are and what we want even come from? You take the red pill, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. I'll take the white pill, the Zyrtec. A lot of pollen in the air right now. What is real? How do you define real? God, Lawrence Fishman instance, looks great. I'm not even sure why I'm here. I remember waking up and thinking that I'm supposed to come here. That it was important. These long shots people. of CG. How do we know Keanu what is real? Don't look awesome. I mean, they look great, but they don't look as good as the close Hi. shots do. I'm Keanu Reeves. Over 20 years ago, I first and that's real Keanu Thomas Anderson in the Matrix trilogy. Those films pioneered digital like right here with shots. Like these far cool. shots don't look Back as convincing a lot about where the digital age as they do when you close there. in on their face. In an industry where actors have tried like this to looks incredible. perpetually young, we wondered about digital faces that could become immortal. Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Moss, God and damn. I played Trinity in the Matrix films. Twenty years ago, we asked ourselves how long it would be before faces and bodies could be changed as easily as we change clothes. We wondered what would identity mean in a completely. I guess Carrie world. Ann Moss's model looks so and much more convincing and incredible because when a world we didn't see her real life counterpart. We were able to see what Keanu looks like in real life and get that immediate comparison. But still, this this looks so wild. Oh, what just happened? Yeah, this is what they wanted. They said they were fine with your theoretical mumbo jumbo, but they needed some sexy action. <laughs> Who said? The marketing people. Marketing? I thought we were supposed to have total creative control. The bus advertisement. Yeah, this is wild. All real time. Right here. Like riding a bike, they say. I sometimes miss this version of us. Me too. <clears throat> the hell are you doing back there? Sorry, I was told this is a sim preparing me to fight the system. Right on. You know about this? Yeah. It's all supposed to be a little unreal. Ah. Word of advice. Said the thing. Things are bad, but whatever you do, stay the hell away from marketing. See you soon. I'm seeing some frame drops here and there, but again, this is running in. This feels like it's just running at film frame rate, like 24 frames per second. It keeps that filmic look, so it doesn't feel too jarring, in my opinion. Right there, we're seeing some frame drops, and then it's real time, everybody. <laughs> it's freaking wild. We're seeing just really great lighting. It 
the lumens global illumination Oh, I should have let the I'm gonna let the dude land on my car land on my car man. Let me try to lose this demo Ah uh, Oh, yeah, now I'm starting to see some of the frame drops Wow This is wild. I can't believe this is real time. Uh, and, and a lot of things that help sell it are, again, the frame rate being consistent from the beginning. And the fact that there's sort of this film grain on it, you know? It has that very filmic look to it. How many times have I said the word film in this video? I'm so sorry. I'm just, I don't want to play this. I just want to pause it and look at things. <laughs> okay, how about the big gun? Thought you'd never ask. You boys are gonna get a kick out of this. Come and get it. Absolutely wild. Oh my god. I'd like to play through this multiple times to see if... I mean, the cars have got to be reacting all sort of independently and dynamically. Because it's all sort of built-in physics stuff in the engine that they were mentioning. We had a little Q&A after. It's just, it's crazy. Like, I remember watching Final Fantasy Advent Children and thinking video games have never looked like that. Holy cow. Apparently you can walk around the world. Oh yeah, this is the thing I was really interested in, in seeing again. A crowd and traffic system. They showed us how you can kind of build these cities really procedurally. World Partition, Automatic Open World Streaming. Lumen, Dynamic Global Illumination, Reflections, Toggle Day and Night. God dang. Rule Process, Rule Based Object Placement. Niagara is their particle system. Nanite is their virtualized geometry. This is the the nanite is what blows me away the most and how objects are constructed it, it It's wild to me. It just sort of changes the whole game of how people make environment art Temporal super resolution higher displayed resolution Look at all those pieces of geometry in those intricate pieces of the environment. Like the pillars and stuff. Oh my god, I'm walking. I'm walking in this demo. Yeah, this is definitely around... 
20-something uh, frames sprint fly what oh fly I, I thought I was gonna fly as the lady oh my god <laughs> this is absolutely wild I wish I could can I toggle yeah so here's how the city sort of laid out was laid out I didn't know I could I didn't know this demo was this in-depth I thought I was just gonna be able to walk as the as the character on the ground. Oh, you, we can move the sun location as well. Oh, this is what I wanted to do, nanite view. Primitives, instances, clusters. Triangles is more what I was interested in. The, again, this is just crazy. This is crazy. Because in the old days, <laughs> back in my day of game development, when you'd have an eagle statue, it wouldn't be this many triangles. The closer you get, the smaller they get because the more detail is preserved and the further away you get, I guess they get less and less detailed. I was talking to the Unreal people and I made mention that like the concept of nanites and how it just changes the game with making art, it really like I felt like I was a, a, a physicist and suddenly somebody discovered the ability to time travel and interstellar travel everything I've ever known has changed <laughs> and that's how it feels like with this nanite technology it's so it's so wild so look at that we're, we're getting real-time reflections of of the taxi in the puddle we're getting real-time reflections of the taxi in the puddle these ray traced reflections we're getting reflections of people walking alongside vehicles This is pretty massive in terms of what can be done in the future with games. And again, this is running on a console. This is running on a retail console. Absolutely wild. Wow, look at this. Look at this shoddy workmanship. Oh my gosh. Terrible. What do you have to say for yourselves, Unreal? It's embarrassing. I'm off camera this time because I thought I was done with the video and as I was looking through the press kit I noticed that the character was in a car and uh, Surprise you can drive the cars. I didn't freaking know this So let's just go for a little joyride and see how everything handles Look at this. This is really awesome see myself in the car <laughs> I don't think this is intentional when we are driving uh, that's when I start to notice the frame rate drops that's when I start to notice the performance impact whoa holy shit the car got stuck in the road <laughs> Unintentional. The car crash is just... Sometimes they're pretty wacky physics-wise, but sometimes they just... Not only just the crashes, but the, the damage. Pretty awesome. Back of my car deformed right where I hit the pole. That's pretty neat. Oh my god. Sorry, dude. I was right above it. What does it say? Can you drive the freeway loop in under four minutes? Trinity can. That's cute. I don't I don't know if I can. There's nothing cool to me than doing secret stuff. To unlock things in video games like if I were to drive around and beat Trinity's record in four minutes and then Trinity popped up on the screen I was like dodge this and she shot me in the fucking head that'd be cool that's gonna do it for me hope you all enjoyed the video like subscribe if you haven't and leave a comment for the algorithm what sort of games would you like to be put into Unreal Engine 5 personally I can't wait for that video that always pops up every six months of like 
Ocarina of Time running in Unreal Engine 5. And then Nintendo eventually sends like a cease and desist, but it's really cool when you watch it for the couple days that it's up. Anyways, thank you all once again. Love you. We'll see you in the next video.